Now we are going to start with lightning. As you, uh, the Benjamin Franklin act actually proved that uh, whenever there is a thunderstorm, the clouds get charged. So what happens? Suppose uh, how the lightning and thundering is caused, we are going to study that. Suppose as it has been confirmed that during the thunderstorm, the clouds get charged. Suppose let's say this cloud is positively charged. This is charged, but that the cloud which is nearby, suppose it is uncharged. So what happens, suppose this is charged and this is uncharged, so what happened due to induction, it will acquire an opposite charge. So if it is positive, so it will acquire a negative charge, right. And when such uh, clouds come closer to each other, because we know that clouds are not stationary, they are moving. So whenever oppositely charged clouds come closer to each other, they produce lot of uh, heat and light which leads to the lightning. So that means, uh, first, they, suppose this is a charged cloud, it will induce charge on the uncharged cloud, the opposite charge obviously. So when they will come closer, so they will attract and produce lot of heat and light, which is the cause of lightning. Now, how the thunder is caused? Because the, the tremendous heat actually which is produced, so due to which the air gets heated. Whenever there is a lot of heat production when the two clouds uh, uh, come closer. So there is a lot of heat produced due to which it heats up the air and we know that on heating the air expands. So air expands, uh, air expands uh, you can say with a sudden leak because due to heating which leads to the production of loud sound in the atmosphere that is the thunder. So when clouds uh, uh, come closer, the oppositely charge they attract, produce a lot of heat and light, which is lightning. And because due to a lot of heat, the air gets heated and expands suddenly and uh, causing a loud sound, which is the thunder. So this is what is happening uh, during the lightning and the thundering. That is, that is what is happening during the thunderstorm. Now, uh, you know that this thunderstorm uh, is actually very dangerous. It can shatter buildings. It can actually, uh, uh, it can also actually lead to the fire in the buildings or the trees. Because how? Because when these charged clouds, suppose this is a charged cloud, let's say this is a positively charged cloud. So when uh, this cloud uh, come closer to any tall buildings, let's say this is any building, right? So when it approaches any building or a tree, or a tree. So what happened again it induces the charge because this is positive so obviously it will induce a negative charge on it so, and sometimes you know that the charge produces so large that it can actually shatter the buildings and it can actually let the fire in the buildings due to the attraction because again due to the attraction uh, because the charge is induced obviously it is an opposite so due to the induction the uh, the charge which is produced in the building uh, because when the, the they will attract and due to the attraction it will lead to the production of large heat and light which can actually lead to the fire also so you need to be very careful during thunderstorms so there are certain do's and don'ts which you need to do during the thunderstorm. Do uh, what what you have to do is suppose you are watching any TV or uh, any using any electrical appliances. So just switch off that thing which you are using. Secondly, when uh, suppose you are outside and there is a thunderstorm, then what to do is rush to a safer place. And what is a safer place? It is a low size tree can be that and it can be low size building also because uh, the uh, very high buildings are dangerous because they acquire a charge due to they can acquire a charge due to uh, the induction. So you need to take shelter near the low base buildings. Third, if you are in the vehicle, suppose you are driving a vehicle, so what you need to do is you have to uh, this thing, keep your windows closed and, uh, and even the doors also. But uh, so this is what you need to do when you are inside the vehicle. But uh, what you need to do if you are uh, not inside the vehicle, but you are uh, in the house or you are outside the house. So you, do not use umbrella. Do not use umbrella over your head because it has a metal strength, so which are conductor. Secondly, do not stand near the tall trees or buildings as I told you because they can acquire a charge because when the cloud passes, so there is a chance that it comes in contact with the cloud and the, char uh, the charge is induced in those uh, buildings or trees because they are very large and so that can actually uh, be dangerous. Do not lie on the ground. Do not lie on the ground. Do not take bath when there is a thunderstorm avoid water avoid contact with the running water because we know that water is a good conductor because the water which you get it at home is not a distilled water it has many minerals so it is a good conductor so you need to avoid contact with the running water 
and do not use wired phones do not use wired phones because they have conductors so that can be dangerous again so this is what is the, the uh, do's and don'ts which you need to uh, take into consideration during the thunderstorm now we'll start with the lightning conductor which is installed in the tall buildings in order to avoid the fires or in order to protect you, uh, you or the buildings or the buildings from the this thing uh, the uh, during the thunderstorm 